the state of Connecticut had a tradition for years and years and years, decades, of leaving federal economic development money on the table in Washington because they refused to allow regions to form their own region and apply as a region to the federal government for funding. It was restricted. It had to be approved by the governor for you to make the application to Washington. And it was the state policy that no region could apply independent of the state for this money. So all this money was being left on the table. Why? Well, the policy reason for that was that the state wanted to control all the economic development activities and applications to the federal government. Well, you know, if you don't have a very vibrant economic development program at the state level, and you have regions that desperately want to do great economic development opportunities, that policy didn't make a lot of sense. So we established legislation to allow these regional economic development districts to be formed, mostly through the regional planning agencies. That became the basis. There are eight of them that were proposed throughout the state. They are now pretty much all covered. Most regions in the state are now eligible to apply directly to Washington for economic development money. We can form a common region, a surrogate, if you will, for county governments. Every other state does this on a county basis. Because we don't have a county form of government, this becomes somewhat of the surrogate for counties. And that's ultimately what the regional planning agencies are going to be taking the lead on, being the surrogate for what other states consider to be done on a county level.